All right, so for this gear review, I wanna talk about this jacket that I had for over three years now, which is Off The Chain 2.0 from Speed & Strength Canada. And I'm gonna give you guys the reason why I think this is still the best jacket that I have in my collection. And as it stands right now, it's about 25 degrees Celsius. It's getting a little warm, so I'm gonna do some little editing magic, like <laughs> now I no longer have the hoodie that came with the jacket, it's been detached and jacket vents are now open. So as you can see, there's a lot of circulation. There's some on the back. And now I'm able to ride comfortably in this 25 degrees Celsius weather. So with that said, I'm gonna give you guys a detailed review of what I like and I don't like about this jacket from Speed & Strength Canada and potentially something that they can upgrade for the 3.0 series. So without further ado, let's get going. All right, so it's a beautiful day nice warm temperature and guess what i have the right jacket for the ride that makes me feel comfortable protected and looking fucking cool i mean that's the combination you want as a motorcyclist in my opinion so let's start off with how i obtained this jacket well when i started out riding three years ago i needed a jacket that was on budget that I could ride all year long. And the key point is all year long. And it does get quite cold over here, like below zero degrees Celsius, that I needed to make sure that I had a jacket that was versatile enough that I can ride through the summer and winter months. And the one jacket that stood out was this jacket called Off The Chain 2.0 from Speed & Strength Canada. And if you've been following me since the beginning of this YouTube channel, you would know that I wore this jacket a lot. In fact, it was my only jacket throughout the first season because that's all I could afford. But now that I've been wearing this jacket for three years and I tried on different styles of jackets, I can comfortably say this jacket is still by far my favorite just because of how flexible it is for your riding. And everything comes from this like double layer approach where you have this hoodie that goes underneath this outer shell that gives you a little bit extra insulation and comfortness when you are riding in the colder temperature. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's a jean material with like a wax coating on the outside. It doesn't make this waterproof, but it does become water resistant. Clearly, one of the big selling points for me was the ability to shed off some of the layers or increase the layers to keep myself warm. The other thing I really like about this jacket, and especially as a motor vlogger, is the amount of pockets that this jacket has. You got breast pocket on the side and then you got a wallet pocket inside which is where I generally like to keep my keys or my audio recording gear. So this jacket has a lot of pockets and as a motor vlogger, more pockets means more things to put in without having to carry a backpack and it doesn't get really bulky. Another thing that I really enjoy about this jacket is overall style. I don't know, it just modernized the look of a jacket where you can look good on a cruiser or even a sport bike. It's just a very good city riding type of jacket that looks modern. Now, the most important aspect about this jacket that I really like is the amount of protection. What it has is the CE approved armor on the elbow, the shoulder, and on the back so that if I have a hard impact onto the ground or with a car or any other materials around me, I know that there's a certain layer of armor that's gonna protect my body from that impact. And as you notice from my crash video, I had another jacket from Speed & Strength Canada that had the armor system that saved me from having a lot of injuries on my elbows and my back. So I know it works and I don't think I'll ever go to a jacket system that doesn't have armor in it because I know it works. Now let's talk about some of the bad stuff. First thing is even though I can take the inner hoodie off to ride in warmer temperature, it still gets pretty hot. Like so 25 degrees Celsius is my limit point or breaking point. Anything above that, I do end up sweating quite a bit, even with this off and with all the ventilations open. So if you are in a hot riding climate, say, I don't know, above 30 degrees Celsius on the average, this jacket will be quite sweaty for you. And you might want something that has a bit more ventilation, much like my armored hoodie that I reviewed a year ago. Another thing that surprised me was the jacket fitness. And I think this is just from Speed and Strength Canada. Generally, I wear a large for jackets, but for this one, from this brand I find that it fits better if it's a medium and it fits a little snug in the waist area so luckily for this jacket there is an extension on the both side which I have it fully maxed because I have a dad bod but if you do not have a slim or athletic build profile this jacket might not be as comfortable especially when you have to zip it up 
Originally, I ordered a large jacket because just based on the measurement, I thought I would be a large. But I found that the arms and the waist side was way too long and it just kind of felt a little puffy. And when I exchanged it for the medium jacket, it fit really snug. At first, I was a bit worried that it's not going to fit well. But after the break-in period, which was a couple weeks of riding, it started to fit in really, really nicely. Other than that, I think this jacket's pretty much perfect. If I have anything to say to Speed and Strength Canada for their third version, if they're still in the design phase, I would say if inner hoodie had the pockets for your armor to be transferred from the outer shell to the inner shell, I think that would make this jacket even more better because on these hot days, I think that would solve the problem where I won't need to buy two or three jackets. I can just transfer the armor over to the hoodie and I'll get all the ventilation that I need and still have some protection. But as far as it goes, on my third year of riding, this jacket is still a big plus on my end and it's something that I wear quite often especially when I'm motorbiking because of all the nice pockets that I have. So with that said, ride safe, ride prepared, ride on, peace.